Okay, hello guys, so this is the Galaxy A12 and in this video I will show you how to unlock this phone plus a custom recovery and then root this phone using mages Okay, all the files and instruction I will provide in my blog so please check the description box and if there is something that I forgot I will add it later in the description box Okay, disclaimer Routing always taking risks and you'll void your warranty so make sure before you root, you're routing you know the risk okay I will not taking any responsibility for any mistake that you've taken when you're doing routing okay so stay tuned and check it out Okay, hello guys, Assalamualaikum, we meet again with Tom Bob and today I have the Galaxy A12 and we're going to read it using images and custom recovery therapy Okay, so let's get started, let's go to settings and let's check the stock somewhere is it? for information okay you can see right here we're using the android 12 on one ui core 3.1 and we're using the binary one okay it also can be applied on binary true it's this the same it's the same and for the next steps is uh <clears throat> you want to enable the developer option like usual so go to the about pawn for information and hit the build number five times like usual go back back again and developer options and make sure you have turn on the YM unlock like this okay and for that you need to turn off your phone okay turn off the phone and now we're we're ready to unlock the loader the phone okay the first step is you need to press the phone up and down and then block the usb cable okay let's try it hold the two button until you see the screen and there is a warning this one just need to press the thumb up long press about for seven seconds okay then you will get notice unlock bootloader thumb up yes so we're pressing the thumb up okay and the pawn will be rebooted formatting the data and you will get notice like this okay the pawn bootloader is unlocked blah 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 Okay. okay let's wait until it's format the data and after that we want to go directly to the download pod okay let's wait until it's shown the samsung logo Okay, now let's force reboot the pawn by pressing the volume down and uh, power button. And when the pawn rebooted, switch the power button to the volume up, okay, like this one. And we will see the screen again. This time, press this volume up. Okay, let's put down the pawn. And we're ready to flash the custom recovery. Uh, okay, let's switch the screen. You can see right here I have already opened Odin. Just make sure go to the option and uncheck the auto reboot. Okay. Then find where you 
the files, copy the path. I hit the AP button and paste the pad right here. Select the recovery. Okay. Then just hit start. And with and with when it's finished, we need to go to the download mode again. Force reboot again. Volume down and power. And when it's reboot, switch again to the volume up and volume down. Let's pull them up again and go to the audience again. Okay, this time, uh, select the AP again. This time, select the PB meta and let's place it again. Okay, after this, force reboot again the pawn. And after that, we go to the custom recovery. Okay, so force reboot again, pull them down and or button when the pawn rebooted switch volume down to the volume up okay, until you see the custom recovery okay let's switch it okay still press the two button until you see the custom recovery Okay, nice. Now we are in the custom recovery. Okay, like usual, the first thing we need to do is go to the wipe menu right here and select format data FPS. Okay, and then let's reboot again to the recovery. Okay, select the reboot and recovery. Okay, see the warning sign. Uh, I want to arrange the brightness, so sorry. Let's go to the advance and where's the brightness? So, settings, brightness, brightness. Okay, it's better on the screen. And now go to the wipe again, this time, advanced wipe. Select the Dolphic data and chaos. Okay, swipe it. And it's always a good idea to back up the FS and uh sorry this is MediaTek, so let's back up the NV data and VRAM. Okay, go to the backup option tab, enable compression, go to the backup again, let's back up the uh where is it uh yeah. Press okay and okay, switch again. <clears throat> and now let's copy images. Okay, mm, we're using the canary one. Okay, you can always use the canary or the stable one. Okay, it's always the same. Uh, in the link description, you will find the the download for IPK. It's just the same file, okay? Just for information, you can rename the IPK to to the zip file. It's just the it's just the same file. Okay, and let's copy the internal storage and let's paste it in here. Mm -hmm. And let's switch again. Okay, go to the install menu and select the images and swipe it. Okay. Swipe. It's always a good idea to have a backup stock ROM. Okay. 
and if you have backup if there is something wrong you can always fly as the software mark. okay it's done now let's hit reboot system and let's wait okay. i forgot to open this one okay this is the step uh, all the step and the files i'll provide in my blog uh the link is in the description box okay credit goes to the edward 0181 and hda okay i think uh this person that create the uh, custom recovery okay yeah. i'm here just to show you how to do it okay and now we are in the welcome screen okay android wizard uh all you need to do is just click next next until it goes to the home screen I yeah, will skip this one and <clears throat> let's continue when it's already in the home screen and here we go now we are in the home screen okay and after you enter the home screen don't forget to connect to the internet using the sim card or wi-fi okay it is important because if you don't connect to the internet and then after that you reboot your phone will instantly get boot loop okay so basically the om unlock will not activate until it connects to the internet okay before some things i'm going to do i'm going to turn off the automatic update okay <clears throat> the play store and also the system update case okay, over update let's turn it off yes if you get updated you will get you will lose your root okay so let's connect to the internet and if you want to make sure go to the developer option again and make sure the one unlock is already turned on okay about pawn for information and build number okay back again uh, where is it and here we go okay you can see right here the YM unlock is turned on but it's become gray okay <coughs> so it is important to connect to the internet so it will show up if you restart the pawn and have not connected to the internet it will not show it will it will not show the YM unlock the pawn will get boot loop okay and let's install the mages okay i don't find any mages apps right here so i have copied the file the file manager i put it in here and let's install it <clears throat> okay just give it a permission and install it Okay, let's open it. <clears throat> and as usual, it will ask you for additional setups. Okay, just hit OK and the pawn will be restarted. Okay. So like I said before, uh if you directly update the mages and you haven't connected to the internet about one minute it will become instantly boot loop okay so for the third time i told you connect to the internet after you enter the home screen okay guys <laughs> and we are in the home screen again okay let's open the i just now we want to check if it is successfully installed and seems that it's already installed you can see right here it's install and the apps also install okay if you want to hide it images you need to uh enable the zygis right here and you want to hide the apps in here 
Okay, I will not cover that one. It will be on my other video in the link description. Okay. And don't forget to hide the magic apps. Okay, rename the magic apps. Okay, let's open the checker. It's for fun. Hmm. Let's hit it and give permission. Here we go. Your SMA twelve F uh sorry SMA one two five F is rooted on Android eleven. Okay. That's all guys. This is a video tutorial on how to root your Galaxy A twelve using mages and custom recovery. All the files and step that needed I will put in my blog. The link is in the description box. Okay. <clears throat> And if you feel that this video is useful, uh, just give it a like, okay? And I also have a last video about routing and custom ROM in my channel. Maybe you can check them out. Maybe some of the video will be useful for you. And if you subscribe, it makes me excited to make new video. Okay, thank you guys. Have a nice day. Stay healthy, stay safe, and wassalamualaikum.